This presentation is a tour of Microsoft Office 365 and the Microsoft Outlook web application. Once you log into Office 365, it opens directly to the Outlook web application. The menu bar at the top of the screen contains links to Outlook email, to the Outlook calendar, to people, which is your address book, to your news feed, and to OneDrive for creating and sharing Microsoft Office documents from the cloud. Your username is in the gray box on the right side of the menu bar. The gear icon opens Office 365 settings and other options. The question mark opens Office 365 help. The Outlook web app has the same functionality as first class with some additions and some improvements. I'll point out differences between Outlook and First Class throughout the presentation. Notice the appearance and functions are similar to most other email applications that you've used. As with First Class, the Outlook window is divided into panes. On the far left, the folder pane displays all of your email folders and I'll open them up. Favorites are the most commonly used folders, including your inbox, sent items, drafts, and deleted items. Additional folders you have created appear under your username, along with copies of your favorite folders. And you'll see here that I have created additional folders in the inbox, uh, one called communications, one of IT related messages, one for training related messages. Next pane over is the view pane. And it displays the message contents of whichever folder you have highlighted. So in this case, we're looking at the contents of my inbox. And the reading pane on the right displays the text of the messages that you have selected. And finally, to compose a new message, choose the new mail button at the top left corner of the screen. The next application on the menu bar is the Outlook calendar. Calendar layout is similar to the email layout. The folder pane displays your personal calendar and any additional calendars you have created. In this case, I've created a calendar called Outlook Training, and it displays calendars that other AIC users have shared with you. In this case, you can see that I have viewing access to a calendar from Andrew Jones, and also one from Betty Smith. As with Outlook, you can view your calendar. Currently, it's in the month view. You can look at your calendar by a week view, work week view, day view. And if you are in the month view, you have an additional pane. You have a to-do bar which organizes your daily schedule. In this case, today on Wednesday, June 18th, I have two separate events. Next on the menu bar is People, your address book. From the folder pane under Contacts, this is where you build your own contact list, your own distribution list. Under directory, if you choose the offline global address list, 
this list displays the names of all AIC students, faculty, and staff. Again, very much like the list that was available in first class. The view pane shows the contacts' names, in this case, Andrew Jones, Betty Smith, and so forth. And the reading pane displays detailed information that you've compiled about your contacts. Also, from the reading pane, and this is a new feature in Outlook, you can send an email to your selected contact. You can schedule a meeting with your selected contact. or you can send an instant message to your selected contact. Next down the toolbar, the newsfeed. You can follow documents, leave comments, and you can create a blog. As you can see, I have started a blog here for myself. The next link is OneDrive. This is a place to create, store, and share documents in the cloud. It's very similar to Google Docs. OneDrive is unique to Office 365, not previously available in first class. From here, you can work on projects from any computer with an internet connection. When you create a new document by clicking on New, you can choose from web versions of Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, all of the Office applications that you're familiar with. OneDrive is a very powerful tool especially if you are working on projects with a partner or with a group. Thanks for taking this tour of Microsoft 365. Additional tutorials will focus on detailed use of Outlook email, the calendar, and OneDrive from the cloud.